Well, there were rather more people on the streets protesting against the government's plan to cull thousands of badgers in the hope of reducing TB in cattle. Around 2,000 people, led by the Queen guitarist Brian May, gathered in Westminster to oppose the start of a six-month pilot scheme that's being launched in parts of Gloucestershire and Somer Somerset. My apologies. Our science reporter, Asha Tanna, has this. It's open season on badgers. Today, thousands of protesters gathered in Westminster to hand in a petition against the cull. It officially starts today, but nearly a quarter of a million people want to see it quashed. Really the only supporting evidence that a cull might be a good thing was in the economic side. I mean, it, it's, scientifically, it's not going to work. Ethically, everybody, I think, is horrified. But it was said that it would save the country money. It now emerges that this is going to cost the taxpayer more than it would have done otherwise if we hadn't had the cull. So really, the last shred of reasoning for this cull has gone. Here in Somerset, activists have already begun badger set surveying. Any sets that we find uh, around this farm are quite likely to be targeted because the dairy farmers in this area are the ones that are paying the bulk towards the uh, badger cull. If necessary, they say they will sabotage the culling. A very blatant uh, badger run just here. And this is what they're looking for, a pathway that shows the animals are prevalent. From today, farmers in West Somerset and West Gloucestershire will be allowed to shoot badgers in an attempt to control bovine TB in cattle. Badgers are thought to spread the disease through urine, faeces and secretion. The badgers, as their uh, sets are disturbed, as some of their members are killed, the set sees that it's a, itself under attack and then it spreads out. If another set nearby is being killed, that set then, th those badgers take that set on, then potentially spreading the disease. No one knows where the culling will be. It aims to kill at least 70% of badgers in each area. A long-term study found the cull would only reduce the disease in herds by 16%. Last year, farmers slaughtered 28,000 cattle in England. Calls to abandon the cull have been backed by 30 top animal disease scientists, saying it lacked empirical evidence, but it's by no means a black and white issue. The only thing we have today is an injectable vaccine, which we know it doesn't work in infected badgers. So for us, it's, it's a no-brainer. The only way we can do this today is to, to cull. A cheaper, more humane alternative would be an oral vaccine, but it's years away. Ministers say without immediate action, it could cost us £1 billion over the next 10 years. The debate is far from over. It'll be discussed in Parliament on Wednesday.